And right now, Miami-Dade Schools District is deliberating a major move when it comes to safety in schools. Should they follow in Broward's footsteps and stock schools with metal detectors? Local 10's Janine Sandwich joins us live with a debate. Janine. Louis, the school year is starting soon, but Miami-Dade County officials, they are looking ahead. Metal detectors are no doubt a hot button issue, and so the debate is beginning. Okay, so Kids are back in the classroom in a matter of weeks, but right now Miami-Dade schools officials are discussing a major step to keep them safe, metal detectors. You want to do everything you possibly can do to try to deter any unfortunate situation to occur in any of our schools. In today's workshop, there are ideas for using AI. Uh, it's 24 seven. Once the detection is made, now all the dispatchers is contacted immediately along with the school resource officer. There are concerns about cost and how they would work. I want to know how effective any solution that we're considering is uh, before I, I support it. <laughs> In Broward, metal detectors are coming to high schools after test runs are wrapping up at summer school programs. The goal is to detect weapons. Once the sensor goes off, a secondary search is on. It's personal for board member Lori Alhadef, whose daughter Alyssa was shot and killed in the Parkland massacre in 2018. I appreciate the comment. Here in Miami-Dade, these discussions are just the beginning. The estimated cost, around $20 million. And like Broward County, this proposal would be for high schools here in Miami-Dade County. There is another workshop on August 7th, and at that time, they'll determine whether to bring this to the full school board. We'll stay tuned. We're in Miami. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. Okay, we'll see what comes of it. Thanks, Janine.